Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti. I have 10 new sneaker pickups for you guys. I thought about doing 10 separate videos and I realized let's just do it all in one video. I haven't done a big sneaker haul video in a little bit. Uh, first things first, new Yoanti tees are on sale right now. Link is in the description. Only 16 bucks. This is the Heather Gray with the white Yoanti logo. Also got the vintage Heather Maroon with the white Yoanti logo. Only 16 bucks. Uh, really enjoyed the new logo, cleaned it up a little bit, decided to go away from the beard logo because I feel like a lot of people have been doing that logo. Like I, I, I saw just other people using the same exact, I just bit my lip. <laughs> I saw other people doing like the same exact logo, it just didn't feel original to me anymore. So that will be, that's still always the classic UNT logo, but time to freshen things up, get got the new logo working. Let's get right into it, here we go. Uh, first package is a pair of Reeboks, a very large box. Big brown box. It does have these little black little like things on the side. So a nice special box. This is from uh, Finish Line. So thank you, Finish Line, for another. They're all my good friends over there. Really appreciate it. They've been going crazy lately, sending me stuff. So greatly appreciate that. Uh, as you guys know, Kendrick Lamar, you know, is is you know affiliated with Reebok now. So this is the Reebok Club C, kind of like a tennis classic. And I've been so so on kind of the the stuff they've done. It's just been eh, average. However, this particular pair I think is fantastic. It is a really nice suede. It's like a long, plush, long-haired suede. I just think it came out really good on this shoe. Uh, gum bottom, because who doesn't like a gum bottom? Uh, and then you just, you know, your normal Reebok hits, uh, all in gray. I love how deep and boss that goes right there. And then there's the Reebok classic tongue so overall just a really clean pair for the spring I'll post links to all these shoes if you're interested in them uh, but this is a shoe that I think I'm gonna get a ton of wear out I'm a big fan of gray shoes and I just love premium materials and the suede is actually really nice next up speaking of premium materials uh, Saucony always their collaborations are literally top-notch the materials are just insane we get right into this one this is the feature uh, LV Las Vegas the courageous with Saucony they did the Breakfast and eggs, just like a couple months ago. Now they're doing the Belgian waffle boxes, bananas. You got the waffle print, the butter, the blueberries, raspberries. So that what they did is they decided to just carry out that theme on the on the whole thing. So the paper is all that Belgian waffle, waffle theme. That's the best part about Saucony Originals is they let whoever's creating the shoe tell a story. And you know that's something to be said about that. It's you know if you have an inspiration or design and you get to put it on a shoe, it really brings it to life. So. Uh, here's the shoe here. Materials, like I said, bananas, like really nice soft suede. You got this really nice tumbled leather, brown leather. So just amazing job of mixing materials. Like look at the tongue. There's like this like fuzzy suede on the tongue, leather on the inside. So obviously they took the whole idea of waffles and breakfast and they tied it all in here with the yellows and the browns and then those little green what's cool is those little green hits here can be found on the three Saucony dots the raspberry the blueberry and then the green little leaf uh, does say feature on the tongue and then feature um, on the back heel so really cool shout out to feature Las Vegas for uh, doing really cool creative things does come with extra set of brown laces so uh, these are awesome I posted a picture of these on Instagram and now, next up, continuing with Saucony, this is another collaboration. This one didn't have a special box. It comes with a new standard Saucony Originals box. This is the Shadow 5000. This is a collaboration with Sneakers76. They're a shop in Italy, and it is the Legend of God Terrace. I kind of have to look it up. Terrace, I don't even know if that's saying it right. Kind of have to look it up. The whole inspiration is based off, like, Poseidon. It's all based on, like, the mythological gods and goddesses. So that's where they got the inspiration of the things that are on the shoe. And once again, I'm telling you, like, don't... If, if you're going to sit there and, like, cry about... Jordan quality and leather, like just stop crying and buy a pair of Saucony's that are way cheaper and have way better materials. Um, right off the bat, more really nice soft suede, also mixed with leather, like there's a, you know, Saucony logo and white leather. This really cool brown hit, it's almost like to represent like a, a piece of wood. Check out the tongue right here. Continuing with that whole Poseidon theme and look, there is that trident right there in leather. Another awesome detail is the Saucony logo, a little circular leather hit on the insole there. Red 
in blue hits. There is the Sneakers 76 logo in leather right there. Continuing with Saucony, I got three more pairs of Sauconies. This is really cool. This is three sneakers that are all released almost together. It's almost like telling a story. It's the Freedom Pack. And this is the Freedom Trainer, which released 35 years ago. I'm going to kind of read from the card here just to give you the story. We introduced the Freedom Trainer, a game-changing silhouette that represents Saucony's approach to improve the running experience. March 2017, we bring it back in all its heritage glory. So it's this classic, just retro runner, maroon color, which I love. You got the cool retro Saucony patch right there on the tongue. So this is, you know, you've seen a lot of old Saucony's like that, but what's cool now is they're like, all right, that's phase one, we're gonna take phase two, and we're gonna take the upper from the Freedom Trainer and make a Freedom Runner, which has a full ever run midsole. And a lot of people are gonna probably talk about this. It's similar to Adidas Boost. It's very soft, it's extremely comfortable. I think right now, if you're a running company, Boost is the standard. You have to be out there trying to make a shoe as comfortable as, as what Boost is right now. And the Ever Run is super comfortable. So what they did is they took this, mixed it with this, and they kind of have the upper of this mixed with the new technology. That is the Freedom Runner. Now they went ahead and said, all right, boom. Freedom ISO, this is their most current running sneaker. Saucony's first shoe to offer a full Ever Run midsole. With Ever Run, you get more energy return, more responsiveness, and more cushioning for an amazing run from your first step to your last. So uh, this is right off the bat, I'll compare it. You know, it's very similar to, you know, an Adidas Ultra Boost. I've already tried them on. Extremely comfortable. There is a lot of give in that midsole. You know, it is it is like pliable, like Boost. You can really dig your finger in and feel that. And then the upper is is your normal kind of knit, which is always comfortable around your foot. And then you've got your Saucony logos right there. So this is a shoe that I could wear running, I could wear to the gym, I could wear casually for full comfort. So thank you to my guy Ricky over there. Ricky, really appreciate it. I think this is really a cool idea of introducing old you know, middle ground and new, just really cool. Next up, I'm not gonna go too into detail, uh, just cause I've already done a full unboxing on these. Champ sent me a, a pair of the uh, Under Armour Sling Flex, the, the Threadborn Sling Flex, uh, special packaging, I already did a full video, boom. I got my second pair, I know uh, my guy Eddie Wynn trashed the hell out of these. I like them, uh, I work out in my, I go to the gym, I lift, I don't think he does, so. <laughs> oh, Eddie's like, ooh, I think something's in here. No, nothing. Right. Um, and then lastly, I've got three pairs from Brand Black. I've had these forever and I just honestly have not got around to doing a review. I forget the specific name uh, of the shoes, but if I'm just being completely honest, they remind me of like an Adidas tubular, like exactly like an Adidas tubular. Like if you put an Adidas logo on this, it almost looks like with all the stuff Adidas is doing, it looks very much like what's been current with what Adidas has been releasing. And I actually really like the design of these. I think it's a cool looking shoe, comfortable, I've tried them on. I think it's great. I think the only downside is is I don't know that people really know a lot about Brand Black and um, I know that they've done some really nice basketball shoes. I know Nightwing's done some collaborations with them. I just don't think anyone knows uh, about them for like casual line. And to me, I absolutely like these shoes. First and foremost, the, the color tones tan and gray, you really can't go wrong, but um, the overall look, like if you told me this was a form of an Adidas tubular, I'd be like, cool, I like them. So, you know, other than the name, which people, you know, aren't too familiar with, I do think it's a really nice looking shoe. Just your normal kind of knit upper with your, I think it's just like an, you know, an EVA type midsole, a little pull tab on back. So, cool looking shoe. And then this reminds me almost like a knit pair of Vans. It looks like a Vans authentic or era, and it's in like this blue knit. I think they're cool. The materials all feel really good. Like this insole right here is very soft. The midsole is comfortable. You can kind of see the tech right there in the bottom of the shoe. So uh, I'm a fan, honestly. They're they're comfortable, wearable. I just don't think they have that name. So I, I honestly, if I'm be being honest, it's tough to sell shoes nowadays if you don't have a name. You know, if you're gonna spend money, you're usually gonna drop it on Adidas, Nike, Jordan, some of the bigger brand names. So if you drop a money on a company that's not well known, it's you, you gotta really love that shoe or the brand. If, if they were making really bad shoes, it'd be tough to show, at least they look cool. So, uh, shout out to Grand Black for sending these through, I appreciate it. All right, that's the video, uh, 10 shoes. Appreciate everyone at Saucony Originals, John Carl, Ricky, appreciate it. Finish Line, Champs, Brand Black, Always grateful that I'm able to do this. It's, it's, it's so fun, so thank you. And you anti tease. Boom. I'm out of here. Peace. Good? Good. You stop it.
Tschüss. <lacht>